Hi guys, so I'm sure you might be a little bit confused right now. I think you guys are thinking, aren't you supposed to be in the Canary Islands? <laughs> Actually, as I'm filming this, we are. I just pre-recorded this on Saturday, that way you guys have something on Monday to watch. I hope you guys will have more to watch in the coming two weeks, but I don't know for sure how the rest of January will go just because we've always had really bad luck when it comes to Wi-Fi when we go to these places. So we'll just have to see. I'll do my best. Follow us on Instagram. I'll put the link in the description box and in the comment section if you want to keep up with us. In case you're wondering why the heck we're in the Canary Islands, it's just a winter getaway. We decided that, you know what, this is going to be our last holiday before things get a little bit more intense. <laughs> And in the coming years, we will have to pay for five flight tickets, so we might as well just take advantage of it and get away, get some vitamin D, because winters are so terribly long here. So yeah, um, on to the pregnancy vlog. So I think the biggest thing I have to say is I've started noticing my Braxton Hicks contractions a lot more than before. Now, I've had them since quite early on in the pregnancy. I never really talked about it because they were... Nothing really exciting, but you know, my uterus is getting bigger now, so I'm noticing them more, and it's just like really weird to be feeling that sensation again. Now, Braxton Hicks shouldn't hurt, or they shouldn't hurt much. <laughs> um, mine don't, but everybody experiences them differently, so I don't want to say they don't hurt. They might hurt you, but they don't hurt me. Um, but like, it's just kind of interesting feeling my uterus like getting active again it's just it kind of brings back memories of childbirth if that makes any sense um, they're not really similar to actual contractions but it brings back the memories it's like oh we're getting ready here we go again the uterus is gonna really do this again uh, because that's what it is it's just practice contractions and it's really good at strengthening your uterus for the real deal. And uh, it's just like, wow, this is really gonna happen soon. And when we come back from holiday, we have plans to finally spruce up the top level. We really wanna try our best to just get things ready for the baby because it just kind of occurred to me, this is like the last real month, like I'm six months pregnant now. This is the last real month before I start feeling huge <laughs> and before, like it starts becoming like, oh, we really have to start getting things done on our to-do list. Like I think the more kids you have, like the more lazy you kind of become in terms of preparing. Like with Olivia, everything was ready like really, really early and I just thought about everything. Um, but we don't really need that much stuff. We just need to kind of get things together. And I just want things to be as like together as possible before the baby comes because I know how it is to have a newborn and probably house projects with Olivia and Leia, a newborn, even though hubby will be taking a long paternity leave, we're gonna have our hands full as it is. So there's a good chance that nothing will get done to the top level if we don't get started. Olivia and Leia have seen the baby move from the outside. They have also felt it, but they're so impatient that like when they put their hands on my belly, they're just kind of like, like I think they think I'm I'm lying that the baby's moving in there or something because they just like sure mom because usually the baby stops moving when they put their their hand on my stomach and then they get impatient and then they just run away but there was one day where we were at the dinner table and the baby was super active you could just see like a whole bunch of stuff going on in my belly and they were like <laughs> it was pretty cool and I think they really believe there's a baby in there now. I'm not just getting really big. I will be sure to try to get that on film as soon as possible, but it's hard enough just to get them to see it and feel it on their own. I think I'm going to stop it there because I've got a lot to do today. Um, hopefully you guys will get some cool footage soon. I'm going to excuse this outfit for the day. Um, I know it doesn't fit, but between packing and doing laundry, I don't have anything to wear. So that's what I'm wearing for the day. There's a the bump from the side. Boom, from the front, it looks like such a round ball now. It's pretty crazy. This is still, I would say, my highest bump. Yeah, there's really a baby in there. Hope you guys enjoyed this update. That's it for 24 weeks. Hopefully we will see you guys some more in the next coming weeks. Be sure to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed, and I will see you in my next one. Bye. Time to pack you up. Want some shoes? No, you. No. <laughs> see you in the Canary Islands. Bye.